Why, hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a long while since we last saw this game in action, but here I am, back at it. And we are testing out some new features because this game has received a whole slew of updates over the past, uh, what, several months now? Yeah. Ever since those last batch of videos I made, things have changed. Particularly for the editor, I suppose the gameplay. But we're not going to discuss too much about that. Because I just want to focus solely on the new additions the editor has in stock. Firstly though, just a small little thing that I want to show. As you can see, the super tank, or as I call it, the mega tank, is no longer available in the editor, which... I'm not going to lie, I, I actually find that a little strange. And it's not even considered a neutral unit either. So yeah, I find that a little weird. For what reason they got rid of it, I don't know. But anyways, as you can see, we are basically fiddling around with a few new features, and I'll talk about this momentarily. But otherwise, as far as buildables is concerned, not too terribly much has changed. Entities, you can still just edit their health, supplies, give them the leader tag, behaviors, and whatnot. But the effects are where the are where the good stuff is at. But first of all, let's go on down to what is now called objectives. While there may not be too much that's terribly different, there is one addition that actually does benefit some missions very, very greatly. As you can see, there is now an optional tag. So that way, if you have an optional objective you want to put in your mission, you can just click it like that, and it'll clearly ins ensure that you know that optional objectives won't end the game instantly. And the best part about this is that you can even have effects for these optional objectives, just like I have right here. Not only is there dialogue, but there's also a brand new spawn system, which I'm not I really do love this feature a lot, except for the fact that it's a little, uh, a little wishy-washy. Of course, I get it. It's early access, so I'll cut the developers some slack here, but it is otherwise a bit heartbreaking to me that there's issues with this, because I really do like this feature a lot, and I feel it could be used effectively for storytelling purposes. Because, man, I could really see some creative uses out of this feature, but... Anyhow, if you don't already know how this functions, then you can basically put it after a line of dialogue and it will spawn the units that you have labeled right here. And just for demonstration purposes... Yeah, I literally forgot to label that boat a, uh... But you know what? I don't really think it'll matter, because this is something I actually want to demonstrate. Optional objective achieved. So there you have it. That's the optional objective. You gotta be as- The enemy has destroyed our outposts! Calling in reinforcements. And there it is, the spawn effect. Right there. Of course, I would like to show you the issues that I that exist with this system. Let me go here real quick, just for demonstration purposes. Oh, yeah, no, I'm going to simply put in the heavy tanks right. Put in a heavy tank here. Put in another one here. Another one right here. Uh oh. You were not supposed to appear this early. But yeah, that's more or less how this bit how it all works. I'll I'll demonstrate it again. Because I don't know what the hell happened. This time, let's not goof it up.
Oh dear. You sillies were not supposed to appear this early. Yeah, like I said, this system does admittedly have issues. So just keep that in mind. The enemy has destroyed our artillery! How? There's no way they can find them! The sandstorm has this canyon shrouded! Not you mention it, I, I can't see a damn thing. Can it, you two? We gotta keep the enemy away from the outpost! Oh, the, the landers don't spawn. That's also another issue with this system. Sometimes certain units will not spawn in, and the lander and the helicopter, from my experience anyway, is quite literally one of those units. Yeah, it's it's a little uh, fucky-wucky, shall I say. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah. Let's go ahead and see uh, an action over here. Alright, there we go. Okay. Well, there we go. At least there it actually works fine. Although for some maps... And I don't know if it's because I have so many units that I've selected, but some of them just don't spawn for some baffling reason, and I don't know why. It's kind of weird. Let's try it out here. Yeah, probably the one thing that I would like for this system is for the spawn speed to be doubled. Because this, for me, is honestly a little bit too slow for my liking. Especially when you have large amounts of enemies. Or, or large amounts of units. There we go. Our listening pulse has been destroyed. Contact the commander and call for backup immediately. Oh, there we go. Well, that's just lovely. More of these bozos. Yeah, I will admit, I kind of rendered this objective entirely meaningless, since now it ultimately results in their trap, if anything else. But that's kind of the whole point of it. Sometimes you could use it to surprise other players. There you have it, guys. That's pretty much the, the new system that we have in place. The fact that we can also label some objectives as optional is even better than everything anything in the world. Oh yeah, and just to show you this issue I have one last time. Yeah, there are supposed to be two other units here, particularly the Medic, but like some of the other units, or, oh no, it's the Heavy Tank, never mind. But yeah, as you just saw, the Medics and the Heavy Tanks, they just didn't spawn in for some reason, and I don't know why. Again, it could be that I have too many units spawning in all at once, but that's something I'm not entirely sure about, but hey, 
Give them the benefit of the doubt, y'all. Surely they'll get this fixed. But yeah, overall, I could say I really love this new system they had. It's... It could be used for a lot of really creative purposes, and admittedly, it... It would actually make for some pretty great storytelling, too. Which, actually, you know what? Maybe I'll show up just one last little thing before I, uh, end this. It's a little bit I have a... For storytelling, that is. But, all right. Of course, a little annoying that I had to go into the effects tab for this to take effect. But, uh, excuse me, Mr. Sniper, or Mrs. Sniper. Ah, oh, come on! Yeah, like I said, this system is extremely wonky. So yeah, she spawns right in, just like you saw. And the dialogue. Bang, bang. Yeah. So yeah, I'll admit, as unfortunate as it is that there are issues with this system, it is going to be pretty cool that a lot of people will be able to use this, especially the optional objectives tab. And man, oh man, I tell you, both those features alone will definitely open the door for creativity. But... We'll have to wait and see later down the lines. But, with that said and done, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this little showcase of mine. And with that, I bid you all adieu, farewell, have yourselves a lovely day, and until next time, this is Lunar Chris signing out. And as always, if you want to try this game out for yourself, you can go to the official Athena Crisis website and get the game for yourself. See you later, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching.